Hey guys on my channel and hey guys on Ken Gamers, Tactical Yavi here bringing you some de team deathmatch on Dome, some Modern Warfare 3 of course, and today we'll be talking about my year, 2011, what it's been like, what's happened, this has probably been one of the most important years of my entire life, and I have had such a great time, and also you guys in the comments could leave how good your year's been, and what you've done, and whether you've been in a similar position to me, etc, etc. Now, this the reason why this has probably been my most important year is because I was in year 11 at um, British kind of secondary school stage. I don't know what it's America, I'm not too sure how it converts. Might be... 10th grade, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you what it is because I don't know anything about the American schooling system and etc. But um, yeah, so I've had my exams this year. Uh, that was back in May. Uh, not much happened before that except uh, just January exams etc. Got my first ever A star in January. Uh, and that kind of kicked me on really to the bigger and better things for that year. Kind of gave me that confidence, like it kind of like uh, don't know how to explain. It. Like when a team, like say, if anyone remembers, uh, if they watch f uh, soccer or football, wh whatever you call it in your country, uh, the 2005 European Champions League final between Liverpool and AC Milan, when Steven Gerrard scored that goal to to boost Liverpool up to win the get or to come back into the game when they're three 0 down after half time. That's kind of what it was like for me getting that A star. It kind of made me like really go. Wow, yes. And it's like, then I just aced everything I did after that. I did so well. I, well, for me, I did well because I've never been considered one of the cleverest people around. I had to work real hard to get to where I am. And um, I ended up leaving school with uh, six A's, four B's, and four C's. So I was very happy. That was like kind of the whole courses, etc. And I was extremely happy with them, and it's made me, it allowed me to go to Sixth Form College in Britain. You guys should know about this. Um, I don't know what it is in America again. Uh, it's probably high school or something, I don't know. But uh, so yeah, it made me allowed to go to Sixth Form where I'm studying accounting, business, ICT, and politics. So this, is, this year has just been the best year ever for me. I've been through a, quite a lot of emotionally uh, last since 2000 and end of 2008 because um, uh, my nan died and she was got a really really big part of my life. It, it's like a lot of what I did revolved around her and a lot of my inspirations for doing well was like around her. Cause she did suffer from severe arthritis and she really couldn't do much really and. Um, I love from her kids and like me, my gra her grandchildren, uh, kind of brung her on, spurred her on every day to do things. And when she died, it was like I really felt it, you know, because I I cared about her so much that um, it it kind of made my life go down a little bit. To be honest, I was kind of on a downer. I kind of stopped playing foot uh, football and all these are various sports and just sort of fell on like a bum really but um, I kind of picked it up and I've done well this year and I've never expected to do this well I never thought I would ever be this do this well because of what I went through and like kind of giving up on a lot of things but luckily it wasn't my schoolwork because I know how important schoolwork is um, like my dad he also he's kind of like he's really kind of like uh, he he's happy that he's been able to support us. We are, we are very privileged. We are, well we're not well we're privileged, yeah, because we have a we have a reasonably ha reasonable house. We can support my dad and mum can support the family. We're not like super rich, etc. But he's always thought that he would never want to see me do the job that he does because he never thinks it's good enough. For he thinks I could go on to better, bigger, and better things. And I would love to do that. And that's kind of my other inspiration for doing well. I mean, school, it's boring, but when you go to sixth form or college, it's a whole different ball game. I'd, I'd trade my A-levels for, or AS-levels for uh, school any day, because they are very, very tough, and you've got to work hard, and I am, and come to the start of 2012, I'll be doing January exams, so 
a lot of things to look forward to, a lot of big decisions coming up next year. By November, I have to decide whether I am going to university or not, which is an interesting topic for another video, really, because, you know, uh, the, the prices in Britain are really, really high. And, like, is it really worth it? You don't know. I mean, I'd love to go because I'd be the first ever person in my family to go. But you never know. Uh, this bit here is actually really dumb for me. I can't kill anyone. And he shoots me in the face in a minute, I think. Because I go around this corner, turn back, and then there he is. <laughs> so it's really stupid of me. It's come towards the end of this game, really. It's, wow, this has gone real quick, this commentary. So you've just been hearing me blubber on about how well I've done... Well, to me, it's done well at school. Some people, it's... People would have been disappointed with what I got. But for me, I was incredibly proud of myself, really. I didn't ever expect to get any a ace at all. But that that year 10, I re or year 10, or whatever it is, if for everyone else, um, I struggled. And just come January this year, I just sort of started off. And I'm getting back into enjoying everything, really. So, um, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I get the last kill. Uh... Tactical UAV. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please come and subscribe, you guys on Ken Gaming. And have a nice day, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later.